Medicine Man Chapter 1 A cowboy's calling Stanbrock was born in England in 1938, but his heart belonged to the American West. From a young age, he dreamed of becoming a cowboy. When he was 18 years old, he made his dream a reality and moved to the Amazon rainforest of Brazil. There, he worked as a cowboy for several years, learning the ways of the land and its people. In 1963, Brock returned to England to pursue a career in television. He quickly became a popular star of the show Wild Kingdom which showcased exotic animals and cultures from around the world. Brock's charisma and passion for adventure captured the hearts of viewers everywhere. But Brock's true calling was yet to come. In 1974, he visited a remote Appalachian community in Tennessee. He was shocked to see the poverty and lack of access to health care that many people faced. Brock decided to do something about it. Chapter 2, A Mission of Mercy Brock founded Remote Area Medical, RAM, a non-profit organization that provides free health care to underserved communities across the United States. RAM sets up temporary field hospitals in remote areas, where volunteer doctors, dentists, nurses, and other healthcare professionals provide a wide range of services, including dental care, eye exams, and minor surgeries. Ram's first clinic was held in 1985 in Wise, Virginia. The clinic was a huge success, serving over 1,000 people in just a few days. Since then, Ram has held over 1,000 clinics in 30 states serving over 700,000 people. Brock was a tireless advocate for RAM and its mission. He traveled extensively, speaking to audiences about the importance of healthcare access and the need for RAM's work. He also worked tirelessly to raise funds for the organization. Chapter 3, Challenges and Triumphs Brock's mission was not without its challenges. He faced opposition from some who felt that RAM was undermining the traditional healthcare system. He also had to deal with the logistical challenges of setting up and operating field hospitals in remote areas. But Brock was determined to persevere. He believed that everyone deserves access to quality healthcare, regardless of their income or location. He also believed that RAM could play a role in uniting a nation and solving America's health crisis. Brock's dedication and perseverance paid off. RAM became one of the most respected and effective nonprofit organizations in the United States. Brock himself was recognized for his work, receiving numerous awards and honors, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Chapter 4 a legacy of hope Stan Brock passed away in 2015 at the age of 77. But his legacy lives on through the work of remote area medical. RAM continues to provide free health care to underserved communities across the United States, and it has inspired other organizations to do the same. Brock's story is one of hope and inspiration. He showed us that one person can make a difference even in the face of great challenges. He also showed us that we are all connected, and that we have a responsibility to help those in need. Epilogue In the years since Stan Brock's passing, Remote Area Medical has continued to grow and expand its reach. Today, RAM holds clinics in over 30 states, serving over 700,000 people each year. RAM also has a number of international programs providing free health care to people in need in countries such as Haiti, Guatemala, and Nicaragua. Brock's legacy is one of compassion, generosity, and a commitment to making the world a better place. He showed us that it is possible to unite a nation and solve America's health crisis, one person at a time. Chapter 5 a documentary adventure this chapter would follow the filmmakers as they travel to different RAM clinics across the country, interviewing patients, volunteers, and staff. The filmmakers would also interview Stan Brock's family and friends, 
learning more about his life and his unwavering mission to help others. The documentary would explore the challenges and triumphs of Ram's work, and it would highlight the impact that Ram has made on the lives of millions of people. The documentary would also serve as a tribute to Stan Brock, a true American hero. Conclusion Stan Brock's story is one that deserves to be told. It is a story of courage, compassion, and a commitment to making the world a better place. It is also a story of hope, showing us that it is possible to unite a nation and solve America's health crisis, one person at a time.